Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about very important biomolecule that is carbohydrate and also going to learn their classification. So what is carbohydrate? Carbohydrate are mainly compound of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and expressed by a formula CxH2O whole Y. Their example includes C6H12O6 that is glucose, C12H22O11 that is sucrose and many more. However, this definition could not hold good due to the following reasons. A number of compounds such as Ramnose which can be expressed by a formula C6H12O5 and Deoxyribose which can be expressed by a formula C5, H10, O4, etc. They do not obey this formula. Next reason is there are other compounds like formaldehyde, acetic acid, etc. which do not behave like a carbohydrate. That means they are not carbohydrate but have the formula of hydrates of carbon. So they are not carbohydrate but having the formula of carbohydrate. That's why this definition could not hold good. Carbon is not known to form hydrates. So now these days carbohydrates are defined as carbohydrates are optically active polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketones or compounds which give such compounds on hydrolysis. Next we are going to discuss classification of carbohydrates. They are also known as saccharides because their basic components are sugar. Carbohydrates are divided into three major classes depending upon whether or not they undergo hydrolysis. If they undergo hydrolysis, many products are formed. The number one class of carbohydrate is monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are those sugar or simple carbohydrates which cannot be hydrolyzed further into a smaller component. They are composed of 3 to 7 carbon atoms. So monosaccharides are single unit carbohydrates which cannot be broken into lower sugars upon hydrolysis. About 20 monosaccharides occur in nature. Their example includes ribose, glucose, fructose etc. Second class of carbohydrate is oligosaccharides. These are the carbohydrate which give 2 to 9 monosaccharide molecules on their hydrolysis. So they are a small carbohydrate which are formed by the condensation of 2 to 9 monosaccharides. These monosaccharides unit are joined together by a glycosidic bond. Glycosidic bond is formed between the aldehyde or ketone group of one monosaccharide and the alcohol group of another monosaccharide. This bond is formed by the dehydration. Depending upon the number of the monosaccharide molecule condensed to form oligosaccharides, oligosaccharides further classified into disaccharides, trisaccharides, tetrasaccharides and so on. So carbohydrate which on hydrolysis give two molecules of same or different monosaccharides are called disaccharides. Their example includes sucrose, lactose etc. And those carbohydrates which on hydrolysis give three molecules of same or different monosaccharides are called tetrasaccharides. Example of tetrasaccharide include raffinose. So this is all about oligosaccharide. Next class of carbohydrate is polysaccharide. Polysaccharides contain a large number of monosaccharides units joined together by a glycosidic linkage. These are most commonly encountered carbohydrates in nature. They mainly serve as a storage form in plants and animals. Their example includes starch, glycogen, etc. Starch is a polymer of glucose and serve as a storage form of energy in plants. Similarly, glycogen is also polysaccharide and is serve as a storage form of energy in animals. Other example includes insulin, chitin, peptidoglycan, etc. Now we are going to discuss about monosaccharides. Monosaccharides further classified on the basis of the number of carbon atoms they contain and the functional group present in them. On the basis of presence of number of carbon atoms, monosaccharides are classified as triose that contain three carbon atoms. 
tetrose it contained four carbon atom pentose it contained five carbon atom hexose it is a monosaccharide that contains six carbon atom and heptose it contains seven carbon atom so on the basis of number of carbon atoms present in a monosaccharide monosaccharides are classified as triose tetrose pentose hexose heptose on the basis of presence of functional group monosaccharides are further classified into aldose and ketose aldose are those monosaccharides which having aldo group or which possess aldehyde as their functional group and ketones are those monosaccharides which having keto group or which having ketone as their functional group so they are called as ketones so on the basis of presence of functional group monosaccharides are classified into two classes aldose which possess aldehyde as a functional group and ketones which possess ketone as a functional group glucose is the most common monosaccharide and serve as primary source of energy in most of the living organism glucose occurs freely in nature as well as in the combined form it is present in sweet fruits and honey ripe grapes also contain glucose in large amount so this is all about classification of carbohydrates thank you